Good morning. Sorry about that. Hi. Man, I'll be up in uh, just a second. Running slightly behind to get a drink. <laughs> I got. I did a tea today. We're still steeping. We steep. Where is this thing? Hi, everybody. It's Tuesday. Like it is every Tuesday. I've never woken up on a Tuesday and been like, wait a minute. It's Wednesday. What happened? <laughs> but it is, it is in fact Tuesday. I had a busy weekend. Um, partially because <laughs> I knew I needed to get out multiple vlogs <laughs> it was a busy weekend I was like mm, I have to get out the difficult vlog but then also I need to get to the ones where <laughs> things are better so people know that it's better um, and I did so glad I was able to do that Kep is okay he's 10 feet away from me chilling on the floor so he's here he may make an appearance this morning I hope he does he's just relaxing yeah if you have no idea what's going on you should really watch the vlogs <laughs> but we'll talk about it a little bit this morning not like probably not in a lot of detail because like the vlogs cover that We'll probably just kind of briefly go over it. Hi, bud. And hello, Matt. Oh, shoot. That's smart. I know. Oh, that's really smart. Mm -hmm. I forgot that we had that. I was grabbing the creamer and saw it. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. You want to show that? I will in a second. So um, I currently can't see. This is, uh, oh god, sugar cream pie. I, I believe so. that's what it's called. This is sugar cream pie. I believe Chaz's mother made this. And so what happened is that friends went to the Eclipse bought it but sure oh whatever anyway um i do believe this is an indiana dish Chaz, because i have never seen this and especially for sale in a store anyway um folks went to muncie mal and i didn't go but other folks in in raleigh went to muncie to see the eclipse and while they were up there they had some of that cake and Chaz brought some back this is pie. Pie, sorry. Sorry. My default word is cake, but yes, it is it is pie. This is pure sugar. How can I ask a question? Yes. How does it compare to the um, Brandon butter cake? Oh you would You like that? I don't know if you would like this, honestly, the consistency of it. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And that's the St. Louis dish, mm -hmm. or the Missouri dish. Yeah, well, Brandon Cake and Chaz Pie. Yeah. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I haven't I haven't tried it. Maybe I'll have like a tiny... So you know what Chaz told me? Chaz mm -hmm. said he really likes it warm. You know, some pies can't keep their texture, their consistency when warm, but mm -hmm. the, apparently this one can, so I might enjoy it warm. Maybe. 
Because part of me is like, oh, I'll try a tiny bit of yours to like, know. Like, you know the consistency of cream cheese on a Danish? Yeah. It's like that, but like the whole thing, and there's no cream cheese taste. I mean, that's... I like cream cheese Danishes, so... Probably, maybe like that. Anyway. I'm gonna try and remember... It. Hold on. When, am I, when do I want to eat that? I want to eat that tonight. I want to eat that at like 8 p.m. Hi, Chelsea. Remind me at 8 p.m. to eat Chaz's um, pie. cream pie. Hi, Chelsea. I too miss sushi. Oh, it's not that I miss sushi. It's just that I miss... Um, eating a entire meal's worth of sushi for eight U.S. dollars. That's the thing that I... That's what I miss. On the day we went to Sumo Box, it was six dollars American. That's fine. Um, oh, I need to go to an ABC store. It's 9 a.m. It's related. <laughs> Time to start drinking. <laughs> I kept drinking this liqueur in Japan, and I meant to bring some home, and I never got a chance to go and buy it. Yeah. And I'm hoping I can find it. I just watched him go down the stairs. Did he? I thought he went into his bathroom. Mm -mm. He went down the stairs. What liqueur? Um, Cassis? C-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. It's a black currant. It's French, but for some reason it's all over Japan. Alright, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through some alerts and then we'll, we, there's actually a lot to talk about. There's a lot that happened over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And also even like yesterday, because you, you had your one year anniversary stream and there's oh, all sorts, there's all sorts of stuff. That one emote that Twitch had to think about is up now. I just didn't post it yet because it was this morning I saw that. They okayed it. Okay. We'll talk about that in just a okay. moment. Uh, we got 40 months at Tier 2. Gold Toast from Radio Dread. Thank you, Radio Dread. 57 months from Paper Spyro. 41 from Vagabond. Vagabond also gifted to sub to Malie. 43 months from Desi Desitel. Uh, 9 months from Lucas Twerka. 67 from Squid of Baconator. 17 from Owu oh, Owu oh, oh, Owu, oh, my dude. 18 months from Cat Lizard, 67 from Phantom SVT, 13 from Darktrium7, 53 from Twitchy Toes, 32 from Axu Sableye, 67 from Space Fix and Music, 17 months from Brina BX, 66 months from Petra Magical, and We Ryan gifted five subs to Crimson Rain, Proton John, Trademark 13, One Weird Cat, and the Trolling Shuckle. We Ryan, thank you. Appreciate it. There are. There are new Mao emotes as of yesterday. So, um, Ilian, who did Mao's first batch of emotes, uh, we commissioned her to do another batch of emotes. And they dropped yesterday, which was yep. also Mao's one year anniversary on of doing Twitch streams. So. Is it hard to believe that you've been doing that a year? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot, so. Neat. We got Mouse Sweep. We got, um. Chaos. Ma Mal Dance. Chaos. The, I really like the paint one. Like, you painting. We also have paintbrush emotes in six colors. Is great. It's super great. So, yeah, that happened. Not seven? Six. Primaries and secondaries. Yeah. Primaries and secondaries as opposed to the rainbow, because the rainbow is indigo and violet, and in my opinion, those are really close. Indigo's closer to blue, IMO. So, just doing primaries and secondaries. We also had 30 months from Raniner, 50 months from Back in Red, 32 months from Linders, 67 from JCJX, and 19 months from Red Hero 15. Thank you. Um, also, I, I 
we'll talk about it again at the end, and it's in the title, but, um, at, at 10.15 a.m., which is in roughly an hour from now, over on Steven Vlog, uh, Fan Favorites 2018 is happening, so we'll be watching that live, there'll be, like, a live chat and everything, um, Fan Favorites 2018, uh, features vlogs from 2018. No. And some of you might be like, wasn't that six years ago? Yeah. But this video never came out. Because 2020, or 2019, 2018 didn't get finished on Steven Vlog until last year. <sighs> so... Um, as a result, that hasn't been ready until now, so, um, yeah. It is wild. I watched it yesterday, um, because Dan, Dan makes them, and then I just, like, trim them up just a little bit, and I watched it yesterday, and it does feel like a lifetime ago, like a lifetime ago, mm -hmm. because not only is it six years, which is a substantial amount of time, but it was pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. and that just immediately adds on like a decade. Slick Tuk says it was five houses ago. It... Almost. Yes. Four houses. If you're counting this house, this is house one. Backwards one is the other one in North Carolina. Backwards one is the the bigger house in South Carolina. And then back before that is where... Blue Wall House. Is the Blue Wall House. It's four houses. So Hi, buddy. Come uh, techni here. Technically three, three houses ago. But yeah, this is the f fourth house since then. Slick Chook says, I was just saying an observed number of houses. It was closer than you think. Come here, sweetheart. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Come here, little Gabba Pent and Cat. Kep is drugged this morning. He will be getting more drugs because he's going to the vet. Um, we can talk a little bit about that. I, I, for anyone who's just coming in, we're going to talk like a little bit about Kepler. I'm not going to go into super, super deep detail because um, the vlogs exist. But for anyone who's like not aware, on April 2nd, um, Kep wasn't breathing real well. And it was a little alarming, and I took him into the emergency vet. And uh, when I did, they were like, hmm, he is experiencing congestive heart failure. And I was like, that's bad. Also, I really love telling this story to Mumbo's Mountain. It, really, it does a lot for the, the tone. Um, and this isn't like a complete surprise, because Kep has always had various health issues like we've known that he's, he's had some heart stuff and he also has uh triaditis which is inflammation of the bowels and um when you're trying to help one you end up doing like damage to the other so his triaditis had been like mostly managed without a steroid for the last like two years and it started to get bad so the vet was like you know, we have to put him back on the steroid, and the steroid negatively impacts the heart. So, he was on the steroid for a, a month. month. And that's all it took. So, um... Maybe. 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 We ha And it, it's hard to definitively say that that's what it was. Yeah. Certainly that contributes, but it's... There could be other things at play that, that we don't even know about, right? So, it, it it's, it's a little hard to be like, it was this... It didn't help, but we don't know that that's what it was. Um, so, uh, the, the the prognosis here is that, um, you know, Kep, Kep is alive, which is great, because he was in the hospital for days, and at the beginning, they weren't real sure that he was going to make it. Um, he survived, and so at this point, what happens is we basically just try our best to manage his symptoms um like long term uh cats with congestive heart failure don't tend to live like an extremely long amount of time um so you know we will have kept for an unknown amount of time it could be a few months it could be a year if we're real real lucky it could be two years um 
So until then, the goal is to just keep him, you know, happy, and keep him comfortable, um, make sure he's having a good life. Uh, all of this stuff, like, it, do it doesn't leave him in any pain, right? Like, it, it shortens his lifespan, which is the unfortunate thing, but, like, he's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Yamadoragon says, How do y'all do Coliseum with Kepler's current situation? We should probably announce that. We are not going to be at Coliseum. Um, because we can't. We didn't go to the Eclipse. Um because we couldn't and we can't go to Colosseum either. So we had planned to go to Colosseum. We had planned to go to Colosseum and uh you will you will almost certainly see my face in Colosseum because I'm I'm planning to do a bumper. Um but as far as like as far as being there we can't um Kepler gets 6 pills a day right now. Yeah. So it's a lot um, he's on a lot of medications, uh, you know, kind of around the clock. And, I mean, for one, like, we want to make sure that we're keeping an eye on him. And then the other thing is that, like, I don't, I don't really want to have to ask friends to basically live with Kepler and pill him all the time, right? So, and, like, count his breathing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the other fun part, is that, um, you want to go take that? Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, that's the other fun part is that, uh, you know, we do have to monitor him. So I've been trying to keep an eye on his breathing and how he's doing and, um, you know, things like that. So Haley says, I make Mal live with Laika. It's true, but we also, you know, we don't have to pill Laika six times a day around the clock. And Mao Ma and Laika have a very special relationship, so yeah. Trust me, if it was if it was um, she does need around the clock pass. If it if it was vital, like if if there was something that came up where Mao and I like absolutely life or death, both of us had to be out of town for a period of time. Like I would ask my friends, and I know that they would help me. So like, you know, that's fine. But. Trying to be gone for an entire week for Coliseum is because it's a week long event. Like I, I can't do that. Um, so we're gonna stay with the boy and make sure he is okay. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> like Baga says, next year. Next year, and everyone, everyone in the color group is obviously extremely understanding. I told, I told MC weeks ago, um, like, I think I told him the day I got him home. So the fourth, which I guess wasn't well, no, it was weeks ago. Sorry, the past two weeks has felt like a year. <laughs> it's felt like a lot, um, for sure. So, uh, you know, just having the support of that group and, and the port support of MC and everything has, has been really nice, so. Yeah. Anyway. But as far as, like, him, how he's doing right now, like, he's, he's doing well. Um, the only thing that has been a problem is he went to the vet last week, and, um... The, one of the things that they need to do is they need to get a blood sample because... You know, the vet can check him out, which is good, but the blood sample is what tells us what his, um, how his kidneys are doing. Because when you give, uh, when, you, when you're giving a cat medicine, you are, you're, you know, you're trying to solve various things, but it puts a lot of effort on the kidneys. So cats in particular run the risk of, like, just going into kidney failure because you're giving them medication. Now, the good thing about Kepler, and why I think that this will go a little bit better for him, is that Kepler drinks water like a madman. I mean, I've never seen a cat drink as much water as Kepler. Uh, in fact... Where did, oh, he's hiding behind the curtain because it's bright in here. He's bright. That um, was uh, cardio for him. Okay. Um, when, when, when Jeff and Dan were taking... Like, Dan doesn't have like a big frame of reference for how, how much cat Dan pee... Dan had dogs growing up. How much cat pee is a lot of cat pee. Mm -hmm. But there was at least like one or two nights where Jeff 
took care of the evening shift and scooped Kep's box. And he was like, I can't believe how much pee was in there. <laughs> it's like, I know. Because recently we had to scoop their box, because Chaz and Jeff were out of town. And Kepler pees more in one day than Elspeth, Venser, Venser and Koth combined. So Kepler is drinking like lots of water. So that's good. That's, you know, that's a good thing. We're, you know, uh, we're happy for that, but we, we didn't get a blood sample last week. So we're, he's actually going back in today um, to hopefully get the blood sample so we can actually check on how his kidneys are doing, even though I'm suspicious that they're doing like probably okay. So, yeah. I had a one back, I asked if he was on Lasix. Um, no. In fact, I was just asked that by his cardio vet. <laughs> He's on Salix. Salix. Is that... Is that the furosemide? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Salix is the drug name. Yeah. Or the, well, in the brand name. Salix is the brand name. The drug is, uh... It's either furosemide or furosemide. I always forget where the E and the they O are. They just said furosemide. It's furosemide. Yeah. He's on, uh, furosemide as a diuretic. Um, from us is also Lasix, uh -huh. yeah. This one's called Salix, which is weird because there is Lasix, and I don't know... Lasix? Uh -oh. But I don't know why <laughs> there's two brand names that are the same thing. Anyway, it's Ferrosamide. That's the drug name. He's on Ferrosamide as a diuretic, and he's on um, Pima Bendin for, to, the heart. for the heart. So, Yeah. Anyway, um, he's doing okay. You know, he's he's doing okay. Brandon, oh, did you want to talk about multi-source brands? Quick, come over here and talk about it. I want is strong, Brandon. I don't know that I want to, to talk about multi-source brands. Um. Anyway, uh. Yeah, so he's, he's, all things considered, he's doing well. So I want people to at least, like, take that to heart. Um, the, I, I think we'll be able to... His vet appointment a week ago, they were surprised about how well he was doing considering. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of comments on vlogs, uh... From people that have had cats and pets that have had congestive heart failure uh, with you know pretty encouraging things to say like you know hey my pet ended up living three years or four years um, and I, I appreciate all those comments is very nice um, my big concern going forward is really not the heart failure which sounds wild right um, but my concern is the triditis because now that all this has happened with his heart like we're gonna manage it the best we can, but it also means that he can no longer be on a steroid to manage the triaditis. So my concern going forward is not really the heart stuff, it's it's the triaditis. Um, yeah, there's not another... There is no other... Med for that. Yeah, you know, when we were at the appointment last week, he had been on Serenia before he got moved back to the steroid, and you know, this the Serenia was, we suspected the Serenia was not working as well as it had been, and that's why he got moved. So for that to no longer be an option, you know, he's been put back on Serenia because, like, there is no other choice. And, like, that was the one thing he said. He's like, we don't really have... A backup. There is no more options, you know? He's like, we, we basically have to give him Serenia and just hope that it assists in some way. So... I appreciate all the, the 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 nice things that people said about their 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 pets that lived with you know heart problems, but like my personal philosophy or my personal belief on this is that that's probably not going to be the problem long term. So we're going to give him everything we can give him. We're going to give him all the all of the the love and attention and and medical care that he could possibly want or need, and. Uh, the guy I just talked to. Do what we can for him. Was like, I assume he hasn't been eating well. 
And I was like, well, it's actually been the opposite. Yeah, he's actually... Um, <laughs> I said he's been begging for food every chance he gets, and he eats it all. Yeah, he has had no loss of appetite. In fact, it's kind of been the opposite, because he... Um, when we took him to the vet last week, the vet was like, oh, he's... Gained huh, weight? He's up half a pound from the emergency vet. And I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like, he's going to go in today, and they're going to weigh him, and he's not going to be down. And one of the reasons is that, like, <laughs> I've been I've been feeding him the same amount of times. And then the other day, you know, since he had been gaining weight, I was like, I haven't looked at the caloric content of his new food, because he's on a different food now. So Matt was like, you should check the caloric content. Maybe so it's I, less. Maybe that's why he's begging all the time. That's what we thought. And then we looked, and it's more. The caloric content is higher by 50%. So if I'm giving him the same amount of food, but it's 50% more calories, like, yeah, that might, that might explain why he's gained weight. But it's hard, too, because, like, he's pretty ravenous i mean he you cannot walk by him without him being like hey 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 hey, hey. <laughs> fill this bowl and like if you don't do it like he just comes into the office and he'll you know he'll be like hey 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 so um yeah it's it's good that he's eating but like we are we're now getting probably on the verge of it being like a problem because he can't that's one of the problems with triaditis is that you 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 need to keep your weight pretty consistent. Like losing weight's bad and gaining weight is also bad. So I gotta be like, all right, bud, you're gonna have to. We gotta chill on this. Sorry, you can't just free feed anytime you want. But he is eating, um, and he's honestly acted, for the most part, I want to say like seventy five percent, eighty percent of the time that he's been home, he's acted basically completely normal the other times is like he might be real tired he real, sleeps more real lethargic he definitely sleeps more but you know a, a majority of the time he is just normal kepler so we love that we love that anyway uh let me read some more things uh we got 15 months from team riptide 34 months from annie 11037 Seven months from a little light one, 100 bits from ZFan86, and 510 bits from Anise, who says, Cat lateral damage for fortune cookie choice at Zolo. It features both Sagan and Kepi, if I recall correctly. It does. Um, cat lateral damage does feature... It's a, it's a photo. There's a bunch of in-game photos you can find when you're exploring the environment, and Sagan and Kepler are in it. So, it's very cute. They have... Uh, Sandwich Vamp says, officially? Yeah. So back in the day, like this game came out, I guess, a long time ago yeah. now. Um, back in the day, the developers um, of Cat Lateral Damage reached out to a bunch of different people. I guess they were probably reaching out to content creators. And they wanted, you know, content creators to, like, obviously play their game. But then also they were like, hey, we have this thing set up where we want to put cats in the game. Coffee. Would you be okay with that? And I was like, yeah. I was like, actually... I've got I've got two cats, so I sent them a photo of um, of both Sagan and Kepler, and it's in the game. It's kind of fun because uh, at the limited run store in Raleigh, um, they have a demo kiosk set up that runs cat lateral damage all the time because they were the ones that made the physical version, and. Uh, it's not unlocked in there. It's not unlocked, but every time we go in there, we might. We'll Someone's play gained enough coins that I buy another photo. Mal, so Mal's I, like, I don't know which photo it is in the list, so Mal, I just go buy another one hoping it'll be that one. Mal's like slowly but surely like buying the things on the demo kiosk to try and unlock them. So at some point, at some point, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get there. So we're, we're, we're making progress. Yeah. Um, Hal, when, when Hal was here, I had been telling him about that. And he was like, oh, that sounds really fun. And he didn't know that the cats were in it. So he actually had done a stream where he played through Cat Lateral and then got to the part where he unlocked them. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. I love that. 
Didn't Masay find them in game two? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a clip somewhere on, on Twitch where Masay got to them and then that got sent to us. And that was very sweet. So, yeah, if you play Cat Lateral, you can run across uh, Sagan and Kip in there. We got three bits from Jay Linebeck. It says, nearly six years ago, I started playing Final Fantasy XIV for the first time, and now I'm still playing it a ton. Main difference is that the FPS has gone from, like, 25 to 144. Oh, God, I've been playing it for that long. <laughs> a lot can happen in six years. A whole lot. Technology also has, like, changed a lot. Like, you could get... You could play games at 144 frames a second six years ago, but it was a lot more expensive. And now it's like, eh, it's like pretty reasonable. Especially if, if you're playing at like 1080, if you're playing, if you want a monitor that's like 1080p 144, that's so cheap now. Um, and that's cool. I love that. We also had 62 months from Waste and Aeon. Thank you. So, I think that's the update about yeah. Cap. I don't think there's really a whole lot else to no. say. Like I said, he's going back to the vet today to hopefully get a blood draw. You want to cat tax that? Sure. He is very cute. Let me get this posted so y'all can see this. Thank you. Coffee. Coffee. Careful. Uh, what? Here you go. So y'all can see what we see. Because he is very cute. It's over right on our right. What are you doing? Did you say, oh, there's a thing here, as if you didn't know there was a giant sea stand? No, I knew the sea stand was there. Oh, okay. <laughs> the box was there. What box? The box. What box? The wolfer. Oh, the oh, I was like, what are you talking about? What box? Anyway, he cute. He very cute. Bustin' with flavor from the Florida division, Tiny Eddie's Tea Nut Surprise. Bustin', 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 bustin'. That was bits from Owu, who says, how many frames is Tiny Eddie's PC? <laughs> Just one. I don't one. think that one was, uh... Just one. I think that one was, uh, written out. What? You're telling me that... <laughs> that the computer didn't come up with bustin' with flavor Chester, from the Florida Thomas division? Thomas did that himself. Don't blame me. Love it. Bustin' with flavor from the Florida division. Tiny Eddie's Tea Nut Surprise. I love that there is access to the Tiny Eddies, so, like, my friends can get into the Tiny Eddie queue and just be like, mm. <laughs> Now it says this. <laughs> Never not bust in that tea nut. <laughs> How did we get to that? It's because you thought, oh, you said Tina on Friday. Thomas had done a workout and I responded yes. and I typed and I was trying to just type simply Thomas. And the swipe to text on the watch did Tina. Tina. But when you said Tina, you I thought I said Tina. And many other people thought you said Tina. And I was like, that's a great name. It's a wonderful name. I love it. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, ow, my dude. Thank you. We also had 300 bits from Genesis. It says the playoffs are right around the corner, and it looks like it's another Islanders slash Hurricane series to start. Best of luck to both teams, but I will be rooting for the Isles. Uh, Genesis, do they have a uh, date and time for that yet? Because last I saw it was TBD. You looking forward to that? I don't know which one I want to go to yet. Oh, because you... So you want to go to another playoff game. Pl I do, very much so. But you want to pick, like... Well... So... Not yet. Okay, thank you. Um, so the Islanders and the Hurricanes are probably going to be playing, right? But we sure. don't know what date or what time. Mm -hmm. And it's only two games for sure. Because yeah. if one of them wins both, then the rest don't happen. Yeah. So. 
Okay. So if I don't go to one of those, I may not get to go to any more Hurricanes games till next year. Yeah, next it's, season. It's a. It's it's but a. If they win, it's, then yeah, it's a risk reward. It is, because, but it's also convenience <laughs> about other stuff I have going on in my life. Yeah, we have been busy. Yeah. Um, oh, is it best of seven? Okay, the only the first two are like yes, because I can't buy tickets for any more than game one or two. Oh, that's right. That's how it works. It's best of seven. The first two are here at PNC, and the other two will be in Long Island. So I can buy tickets for the first two games. But that may be my only chance to see a playoff game. But if you wait, and they win... Yeah, then I might then, get to see it the next round. Which is more exciting because it's closer to the end. Yes. You have to you have to make the decision much like very early on to be yes. like okay I'm gonna try and go to game two or uh, round two or something I don't know yeah you can make that choice just travel to Long Island easy peasy yeah Fossix uh, easy peasy yeah yeah easy peasy we got forty nine months from Charlemagne twenty five and Mean Dean gifted a sub thank you. We've, uh, I think, did we talk about everything related to Kepler? Did we miss anything? There's nothing else. He has a blood draw today, cardio appointment next week. Doing better than we could have hoped for. Yeah. He's doing, he's doing good. He's doing pretty good. Um, I want to make sure that I do instill in everyone, like... There is still uncertainty, you yeah, know? Yeah, there's a lot of that. There's, like, a high level of uncertainty. Um, so when I say that he's doing well, what I'm, what I'm saying is that, like, he is comfortable and things are good at this particular moment. And, like, I can't... With how things are, like, I can't be like, he'll be fine for this amount of time. Like, I can't do that. Yeah, we don't have those answers yet. Um... Well, we don't have them, and I don't think we'll get them, to be honest. Uh, not, with, not with both conditions. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to happen. So, you know, um, yeah, Haley says you might not ever get them. It, that's, what, it, that's what's going to happen. We are not, that's not going to happen. We're, we're not going to be given like, oh, well, he's going to be okay until this time. We won't know that. Um, you know. It's it's a very real possibility that even though he's doing well, like we could wake up tomorrow and he could be suddenly not doing well. So we are just gonna do our best for him every day. And that's the that's the hope. That's the goal. Um, I made him a little bed in my office. He loves it. Yeah, he was there. Well, you napped yesterday. Yeah. He was in that the whole time. Yeah. He's a sweet one. He's a good boy. But vet today, hopefully get his blood drawn, check his kidney levels. He's going to the cardiologist next week uh, to check on his heart and then also kind of get a better idea of, like, the specific amount of medicine that he needs. So, yeah. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah. Haley, that's that's how I think also. So Haley says, I know some people find it comforting to say, oh, it seems like things are great. Everything will be fine. But that's not accurate or reasonable. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very big realist. Um, so I try to just, you know, understand that's where things are. Um, you know, and when, when sometimes when people, are, like in the comments, are like, oh, it's so good to know that he's going to be okay. I'm like, He's home, yes. He is not going to be okay. <laughs> like, like he is, n he is not okay. Um, he's he's comfortable, which is good. Um, but like, you know, there, there, it's not like ah, we got past that. Everything's okay now. It's like that's not that's not what's happening. So, being realistic about it is, I think, the healthiest thing to do, because you know, if something happens, you're it's not a surprise. It's like, yeah, I understand that this is this is where we are. But um but right this second
He's turned into a little shrimp. Right the second he's he's cued his button. And he's resting. And I love that. So. Anyway. I left that bag in too long. It's bitter. <laughs> uh, okay. So we talked about that. We talked about you have new emotes, which is great. Uh-huh. You've been on Twitch for a year. Um, what was the other thing? We've been busy. Yeah, oh, we've been and super there's busy. there's more coming up. Yeah. I feel like there's something from this weekend that I... Forgot. <laughs> so. Uh, not yet. That's not what I'm thinking of. Chaz reminded me of something, but that... I, I, I have to test a thing first. <laughs> And I haven't done that. I'm going to do that today. Game poll? I don't know if I ever talked about that on Breakfast Stream. I think I only maybe talked about that on on, uh, on Friday. I did put up a poll on Steven Plays uh, about some games I'm interested in possibly streaming soon. Um, and that poll was still live, I think. So you can vote on it if you want. I put Subnautica, Dark Souls, Slash Elden Ring, and the Metroid series on there. And uh, the last I checked, I was I was pretty impressed. Because, yeah, Met Metroid is in the lead. But I think the difference between Metroid and um, the Souls games was less than 10%. And I was like, that's good data. That's good data. You know, there's a lot of people that would... And also, it's like, to some extent... Oh, is it different now? 30... What? Oh. Wow. When I looked before, it was like 8% different. So the fact that it's only 3% different is wild. Um, but that's like... That's really good. That's, you can't play Prime. I'm still playing it. I will... I will take it from you. <laughs> you, you are not playing it. You have not played it in like six months. I swear to God. Um, yeah. I, it, I, there's, there's, uh, within, like, our audience, it, it's believable that a Nintendo game would win a poll, but the fact that the Souls games are so close. Haley says, but I'm on the last level. No, you're not. No, you How got. How do you know she's not? She got to the last level, and then she just didn't play it. That, yeah, she's on the last level. She's she's not she's no that that if you're on the last level if you're playing the game if you've stopped playing the game you're over here. <laughs> you're no longer playing the game. You got to the last level and then there's like an amount of time where you are still playing the game and after six months you're over here you're no longer in the pipeline of the game. <laughs> I can repossess the game at this point. <laughs> Just be that, Haley. Just be that today. Just be that. Haley says, "Steven, if I beat the game, there's no more game. There actually is. It's called Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> there is literally more game. There's so there's there's two other Metroid Primes, and then also Metroid Dread. There's so much more Metroid you can play. There's a direct sequel to Metroid Prime." It's not on the Switch, but it, it, it does exist. <laughs> how, how long does it take to beat the final boss in Metroid Prime? 30 minutes? An hour at most? Take an hour this evening and just beat Metroid Prime. Just finish it. Just, just ask it, your boss. I'm up. sure he's very reasonable. Ask your boss if you can, if you can take today off and beat Metroid Prime. There you go. I'm glad we... <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm gonna take that game back. I, like, you can't... You can't just keep hopping around games and then be like, Whoa, whoa, you can't take this game that I... <laughs> so she's gonna gather the game collection. She, yeah! At the current rate, in a few years, most of these games will just be at Haley's house and she'll be like, Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'll have you know, I'm still, I'm still trying to beat. I picked up Poyo Poyo Tetris. <laughs> I'm still trying to beat Poyo Poyo Tetris. Of course.
course that's what I would touch. Perfect. Anyway. Uh, we had... <laughs> We had 700 bits of Molitor with the Malmakes Dance Star Rain, which I love. It's probably one of my favorite new... I, I'll have to make the the one public at some point. Yeah, there is one extra emote. You'll get it out. Yeah. <laughs> when are you going to beat all those Wii games? Mm -hmm. Give them back to the stores? <laughs> I'm going to return all of them to the, the game giant in Wilmington and be like, Hey, I never beat these. I'm sorry. We did, we had the uh, we had the single biggest purchase at Game Giant. Yeah. Were you? It was. Me, I was there and Paul. Yeah, me, you, and Paul. I went into Game. That was a fun day. I went into Game Giant and I just started like. It was it was when there was still so much of the Wii library remaining that I could go into a store and buy a hundred games, and I, I just started making a stack and taking them up to the counter, and I got like twenty or thirty deep, and the guys were like, "You buying all these?" And I was like, "Yeah." They're like, but for for sure, because I don't want to like get the game, the, get the games and put them in the cases if you're not gonna get them. I was like, no, I'm definitely getting them. And he's like, okay. So then we started adding more and more, and he, and then they started getting really curious. They're like, do you, are you trying to finish the Wii like the Wii library? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, whoa, <laughs> are you? <laughs> Sorry, that got me very, very good. Um, but I, I asked, I remember asking him, I was like, you know, for getting so much stuff, I was like, is there, is there like a store discount or something that, that you guys do? Because it's never, it never hurts to ask. And if you're buying a lot of stuff, a lot of times they will do it. Yeah. And uh, they were like, yeah, man, we can help you out. So um, I think they gave us like 10 or 15% off everything, which was amazing. And when we were done, they're like, they're like, dude, I think you spent more in the store than anyone ever had. Steve, it's pretty low in moment. And it like it was a lot of it was a lot of money, oh, but it thanks, wasn't like Renee. it wasn't an insane amount of money. I think it was like maybe five hundred dollars, which is a lot, but I don't know. If if you buy like a a PS5 and a game, like yeah. that's more than that. Yeah. So I don't know. What? Uh, anyway, maybe they meant I bought the most physical things at once. Maybe. Maybe no one's come in and bought 100 games at once. I think it. W I think we bought like 110 or 120 video games that day. Anyway, there's we, the we, boy. We, hey, bud, you want to come up here? We finished. He does. We finished the Wii library, and I'm I'm really glad because I don't want to have to think about that ever again. There's the boy. Hello. Hello, son. Do you want my lap? Is that why we've stopped and look at me like... Whose lap do we want? Here. You get to pick. You are chosen. Good boy. Hi. Hey, cutie. Good boy. If he seems a little off... He's he, on gabapentin. He is full of gabapentin. Does he still have a chicken leg? Like a little shaved bit? It's uh, this leg. Yeah. He's He got a little shave right here. Yeah, it's grown pretty quick. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. yeah we're is he still stained? Yeah, he's still stained. Bit. We're a little disoriented this morning. Because we're drugged. And at noon, you're going to get even more drugs. More uh, gabapentin. The gabapentin is, is a necessity, um, obviously. But also, I do sort of hate it because when he's on gabapentin, he does tend to throw up. So that's going to happen. I don't... And the, the, the thing is, I don't know if he's going to throw up at home, in the car, or at the vet. Last time he threw up at the vet. Which was convenient... Yeah. Because then it wasn't something that we had to deal with. We it, He didn't throw up until we got there. Yeah. And once we Unfortunately, got there... Unfortunately, it was still in the carrier. Yeah. Ugh. Hi. Can you lay down here? This is better. Yeah, this there is more go. cozy. Be cozy, bud. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. 
he doesn't know he's going back to the vet today. And he's going to hate it. He is going to hate it. It's a good point. Vagabond says, if you want him to throw up, just call Thomas. I yeah. That. Fun fact, that happens to everybody. So if, if Thomas ever calls me on the phone, like right after I'm off the phone with him, I just puke. Uh, we got 300 bits from Slick Duke. says, speaking of emotes, when are we getting new Steven emotes? Still waiting for that Snavy emote. I think the most the, the latest emote we put up was Job. I think yeah. that's the newest one. Yeah. So we've we have very different we've done very different things for emotes because like Mal's have have <laughs> I can't believe you hate Snavy. Uh Mal's emotes have come out in two big batches. So like when you first started your Twitch channel you had yeah. the five and now a year later you have another big batch we've always like piecemealed like over here like every once in a while we drop one you know so we don't really have them coming out in batches so yeah trickery was before job i'm pretty sure job was the newest one i think there will be new ones <laughs> please sir we're starving <laughs> They'll come out. Um, we got 300 bits from Little Light One that says, so this weekend I spent about $300 on Magic cards since they had a pre-release event, so I feel that. Card games, you, you can, you can, you can spend some money. If you're starting from scratch and you need to build a deck in a card game, like, that, that can easily be <laughs> several hundred dollars. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I totally understand that. Also, if you're playing like several pre-release events, I knew people that when, when they were playing Magic, like they would do like the midnight release, but then they would go the, in the morning to that pre-release. And the way Magic worked was like, there's pre-release, but then there's release like the next weekend. So then they'd go the next week to release. And if you, by the time you do all that, start, you start to like get up there. He has his head resting on my bicep. Yeah. Let me see if I can help a little bit. It doesn't look like it, but it is resting on my arm. Yeah. He's a cutie. Um, I, keep, I know there's something that I'm missing from last weekend. Go through it's, the calendar. It, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I can't figure out what it is. But also, I might be crazy. Um, I went disc golfing this weekend. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I figured it out. Um, but you can talk about disc golf. I went disc golfing. Yeah, I was I was not there. Um, but I really want to do it. We can do it. I really want to go back to do a disc golf. We can do that. It was Good. fun. I really, really, really liked disc golf when we went with Dan and Tom. Mm -hmm. Like, that was extremely fun. So, I'm hoping to do that soon. It's just, it's starting to get stupid hot. It is starting to get stupid hot. Like, what's our high today? Our we high almost did, hit 90 yesterday. Our high today is 85, and it is cooler than it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, I'm like, okay. It's it's the middle of April, so you know. By the time we get to June and July and August, I think this is the other one. Could you take him? Yeah. Boop. We getting we getting important phone calls this morning. Hi, bud. He's like, oh, why did how did I why did I get transferred? You get transferred, buddy. Now you're over here. It's okay. We had 300 bits from Satsu. It says, Beans and good vibes for all of you. It's been a whole thing. It's been a whole thing. Um, someone beans. I, I can't reach the button now that I have the boy. So I'll let someone else beans. But yes, we should beans. Thank you, Chaz. There's beans. We also had 31 months from Mother Fairy. Appreciate it. Holy crap, it's already 9.55? What? 956? 
I feel like I last look, when I last looked over, it was like 9.16, so 40 minutes passed extremely quickly. I wasn't expecting it to... Yeah, what's next? 9.57? Hi, buddy. Oh, you are a sweet, precious thing. Oh, my goodness. Good boy. Good boy. So let's talk about what's happening today, then, because that's going to be important. Um, uh, first things first, in less than 20 minutes, 10.15 a.m., uh, over on Steven Vlog, Fan Favorites 2018 is premiering. It'll have a live chat. You'll be able to watch it with everyone else. It's very good. It's very, very good. Dan did a really good job cutting it all together. Um, it's kind of wild. It feels like time travel. Um, it really feels like time travel. You get to see so many people, but from six years ago. And that's that's wild. How long is it? It is Coffee. right under 80 minutes. It's like 70 something minutes. It doesn't feel like that. The the fan favorites never feel that long because they're so because there's so much footage like it's it's a clip show, right? So it feels much shorter, but um yeah, it's it's almost 80 minutes long. Um There's uh there's a lot of footage of Sagan. Um and like it's nothing's like new footage, right? It's just stuff that you probably haven't seen in a long time. Uh it's nothing sad. It's just, it's a reminder of, like, who he was as a cat. And he's a cutie. He's so, he's so energetic. He jump, he's, like, jumping off the walls and running around, and he, he's very, very vocal, so he's very, very cute. Um, it's also fun to see... It's the first appearance of Laika. Get to see Laika for the first time. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's cool. It's, it's a really... It's a really good one. So, yeah, take a look, take a look at that in approximately 15 minutes. Um, there is no game stream today because we are busy, we have that appointment. Um, so no games happening today, no games happening tomorrow because we have more doctor's appointments, like for the humans. Um, however, I do plan to stream on Thursday. So Thursday afternoon, I'm uh, I'm planning to do a game stream, a solo game stream. So yeah, video games are canceled for the next 48 hours. So join me on Thursday afternoon, and I'll talk about that on breakfast stream on Thursday. And I will be doing a game stream then. Yeah, no stream this afternoon, and no stream tomorrow. No streams Tuesday or Wednesday, but Thursday, yes. Yeah. Uh, and Disc Only is happening tonight. Disc Only uh, occurs at 9 p.m. Eastern over on Proton John's uh, Twitch channel. So, Disc Only is happening tonight. I will be there. Yeah. Alright, there's still some more alerts. We had 66 months from Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. 300 bits from Little Light One who says, So, I am not starting out. I have about 10 commander decks, each 100 cards each, and I'm closer to 5,000 spare cards. I just am a kid with adult money. There... <laughs> There's nothing wrong, in my opinion. As long as, as, long as you're, you're, you're meeting your needs, right? There's nothing wrong with just enjoying the fact that you are an adult. You know, you're in, you're you you become an adult. You you finally get to a point in your life where you you know have some level of expendable income, and it's like totally okay to just enjoy things. That's that's okay. Like if magic is your if magic is your thing, yeah. Renee says, wait, you're supposed to become an adult. That's the other part of this. We're like, eh. The older you get, and like, I, everyone ha comes at it from a different angle, but like, the older you get, the more you realize that when you were younger, the adults in your life were basically big kids. Just the fact that like, being older means that 
doesn't like you don't <laughs> you don't necessarily reach adult status. You just you're a big kid and you realize when you get older that when you were younger, all the people that were in your life that you were like, oh, these are like, you know, the, the, the older people, these are the adults, these are the mature people. Like, they barely had any idea what they were doing. <laughs> they were, like, holding on um, by the skin of their teeth. That's, you know, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, what um, was the other thing? Is what? this one he is today? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we can we can do that. That's no problem. Um. <laughs> Healy says I was telling my cousin's kids, middle schoolers, that the worst part of being an adult is realizing you're the responsible adult in the room, and they loved it. It's also extremely true. I mean, the first year I was teaching, it was like one of the first, the first week of school. I looked around at the kindergartners and thought, they're leaving me in charge of. 30 kids. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember the first time that I ever, like, really felt that way was, um, I had a friend when I was in high school who was, um, 25, so he's, a, like, about 10 years older than me, and I remember thinking at the time when I was in high school, like, wow, this person is, like, like, older and they, they they have responsibilities and they're mm -hmm. you know whatever and then i became 25 and i was like oh my god <laughs> i'm i'm a kid what are you kidding me what i don't i feel less like that now though like it's still there but i do feel less of it at 35 than i did at 25 so I am starting to feel some of that. I just hung out with two 12-year-olds all weekend, and it was wild. <sighs> yeah, that's that's going to be a different experience. It sure was. Yeah. They were great. But I just but forgot young. what that's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, completely different, like, interests. How many times did they say Scooby? None as far as I remember. That's what 12-year-olds do. Skibbity, 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 skibbity. That's what they do. We had 18 months from Portal Beard and 67 months from Hayariyu, and uh, we're just at, we're right now at the mark where it's, it's about 10 minutes away, so I, I feel like we should probably wrap up. Um, thank you so much for being here this morning. Uh, again, I, I want people to worry as little as possible about Kep. Um, I think it's good to be a realist. Uh, and like this idea of like he's going to be completely fine and all of his problems will go away is like not realistic um, but we are keeping him comfortable and happy aren't we yeah and today we're keeping him drugged because you got some stuff going on Hi. he's a good one He's a very, very good one. Uh, 38 months from Furious Kitty. Thanks. Uh, Fossix has got the link to fan favorites pinned. Uh, go ahead and go on over there. We will meet y'all over there for live chat over on YouTube. And, um... Is that Cap's version of a kiss? No, his version of a kiss is shoving the top of his head. Oh, it's off screen. The top of his head up towards your head so he can get a kiss there. Yeah. Uh, all right. We will see you for fan favorites here in a moment. And it's like 10 minutes away, so instead of a post screen, I'll just say D Drug Dome. He drugged. All right. See you there.